Hello fellow survivors, we here at the Zombie Defense Squad who are always committed in ensuring your safety from the undead menace have put together an instructional video to show you a few useful tips and techniques to prepare for the zombie apocalypse while at UC San Diego. During the first few days of a zombie pandemic, the media and local government will likely take several days, if not weeks, to properly identify a zombie plague. In this lesson, we go over several techniques in identifying a zombie outbreak. Here is an example of a UCSD police report that could potentially be about zombies. Look for phrases such as suspicious death, possible animal attacks, and death or injuries resulting from bite wounds. Be especially alert if the report is nearby where you live, such as an attack being near Geisel Library. Also, be on the lookout for political announcements of cases of widespread rabies or sudden disappearances. These may be signs of a zombie outbreak. In addition, make sure to keep up with local UCSD events by talking to friends and classmates. They may hear rumors about animal carcasses being left out in the open, students going missing, or strange attacks. These may all be signs that zombies are nearby. The next lesson will go over several features that zombies have that help in identifying whether or not the person in front of you is a zombie. Here is a typical zombie. As you can see, an obvious identifying feature is their slow walk. Other things to look out for are missing limbs or damaged clothes. While many of you may not be ready for a zombie apocalypse, here are a few simple tips to start your preparation. The first things you need to start stocking up on are canned foods and water bottles. These supplies can be easily purchased at any of the on-campus markets, such as Earl's. Next, you are going to need a source of light and a way to make fire. The last thing you want in a zombie outbreak is for it to be cold and dark. Once those essentials are taken care of, you can then start focusing on other items such as a melee weapon, a med kit, a sleeping bag, and of course a comfortable backpack to hold your survival gear. While all of this preparation is useful and essential to your survival, you still need to be ready to face the real thing. When facing a real zombie, the number one goal is to try to avoid it. Why risk your life when you can easily outmaneuver it? Here's a zombie hunter using a distraction technique of filling an old bottle with a few rocks to divert the zombie down the alley. However, you may still be faced with a direct confrontation. When fighting a zombie, the only goal is to destroy the brain. Here is a zombie hunter showing a successful takedown of a threat. Don't forget, make sure to hit the zombie a second time to ensure its death. Now, onto the final lesson of the video, how to make some useful gear for the zombie apocalypse. The first item is easy to find tinder. When you are checking your pockets, you likely remember pulling out some lint. Well, this lint is very flammable and is a great way to help start a fire. To obtain a large amount of it quickly and easily, simply go to your nearest dryer and collect the lint from the lint screen. You may find it difficult to find a typical watering jug while at UCSD. If you find yourself needing one to help start that vegetable garden during the zombie apocalypse, here is a simple way to make one. First, find any size plastic empty milk jug and a sharp implement. Next, take off its cap and rinse it out. Afterwards, reattach the cap and poke holes in it. After poking the holes, make sure to fill up the watering jug with water. Now you have a fully functional milk jug that can act as a watering can. If you ever find yourself in your suite or apartment at night with the power out, here is a quick and easy way to make an oil lamp. 
First, you are going to need a lighter, a tuna can, a bottle of vegetable oil, a sharp knife, and a strip of cotton. First, take the tuna can and poke a hole in the top of the can. Then, fill it about halfway full with vegetable oil. Now, take your cotton strip, roll it into a thread, and thread it through the hole. Finally, pour a small amount of vegetable oil into the cap, dip your fingers into the oil, and then wet the end of the cotton strip. You now have a fully functional oil lamp that can last for several hours. Here are a few additional tips to ensure your survival during a zombie plague. Learn how to grow plants and be sure to ask sweetmates who may have experience in growing their own. Work on a few relaxation techniques to keep your mental health up during an attack. You do not want to risk getting too stressed out and making a mistake. Another essential survival tip is to work on cardio. You will need a high stamina when traveling your campus. This concludes the zombie survival video. Be sure to work on everything mission within and do even more. The better prepared you are for the zombie apocalypse, the better prepared humanity is for surviving it. We here at the Zombie Defense Squad wish you good luck and happy hunting.